So Kellex is a chemical sensor company. We are uh, developing a new way to get sense a chemical compounds more accurately and more sensitively than competing sensor technology. Basically, uh, leverage biomaterials to make um, inexpensive and um, highly accurate chemical sensors for real-time detection and analysis of new chemicals. It's our first launch of our products and we have the uh, sensor evaluation kit and also the uh, sensor module and we also have the sensor system uh, plus another, you know, the, the aroma analyzers. We have actually, a, uh, you know, customers in, in a variety of different industries. Uh, we have customers in the cold storage warehouses, uh, the, the uh, oil and gas industry, and also the, uh, the consumer electronics, and also like food and chemical companies. Uh, we've been working on this technology for more than uh, seven years. Uh, that's, you know, when we, uh, when my co-founder Benson and I, we, we, we were together, you know, spending our time in, in the lab at UC Berkeley and Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. And so here we have our uh, M100 ammonia module, simplest single gas sensor. So this is using a Series 4 pin, which is an industrial standard form factor. And then so this can be easily integrated into embedded systems, so for system integrators and so on. Other than that, we also have an option where we can uh, put together an evaluation kit for our customers. And then so this is essentially our uh, module unit where we put on a PCB board and also a calibration cap where we can just have this directly connected to a computer where we have our proprietary algorithm to uh, show you the performance of our ammonia sensor. And this calibration cap can be connected to any uh, gas inlet to flow in a, a set concentration level of ammonia. And then uh, you can see the response directly on a computer. This is our M100 uh, ammonia measurement system. So this is where we put this uh, ammonia module and then we developed the entire system around it. And what I mean is that we make the entire uh, system uh, waterproof. It's a IPX65 uh, water resistant. We put on the battery pack so it will last multiple years in the field without uh, AC power. We also have a wireless communication method to uh, communicate, uh, the, 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 to trans transmit the data wirelessly. And then this is our, uh, we have an option to just take, if we don't need to use the battery, we have the uh, AC power, we have the option to just connect it to the AC power as well. So this is our entire solution. At the, at the moment, uh, we, we launch our ammonia sensor and uh, our plan is to, we're going to gradually release more chemical sensors into the market. Uh, it's gonna be like natural gas sensors that include methane, ethane, uh, and mercaptans. And also for like benzene, toluene, xylene. Uh, really, you know, notorious uh, the top C gas chemicals, and also for like chlorinated compounds, formaldehyde, and also other gases. That's actually in our pipeline. And um, on the device level, uh, we have a, um, we are actually building up a, a generic modular platform. It's a it's an IoT platform that will be uh, powered by our uh, phage technology. The goal of the Aroma Analyzer is to create custom solutions for our customer. So this is our solution to complex aromas. What we do here is we sample the uh, aroma here uh, in the inlet, and then we have a proprietary mechanism to standardize the temperature uh, and other ambient parameters inside the system so that it can present a consistent sample to our sensor so to produce a, uh, reproducible and reliable results. The typical industry uh, for this is usually something like the food industry, uh, beverage industry, industry that might require to sense a complex aroma, aroma that, uh, or other uh, complex gas mixture that has so many chemicals that it is not feasible to detect them by one by one by themselves. And also a use case where uh, you might need to have a continuous and real time monitoring of these complex aromas. Um, because the current solution is that we have to sample using something like a gas chromat uh, chromatography and these are uh, usually not uh, real time and continuous and uh, requires a pretty laborious sample preparation method. With this we sample the uh, aroma in real time 
and continuously. Completely depends on the uh, the end user, the customer. Uh, it, de it depends on what kind of a library they think is important, and uh, then we, we can just uh, they can just add in the aroma, uh, uh, test the aroma, and put them into a library, and then use that as a standard for further future aroma testing. This is a very successful pilot with customers in the uh, cold storage warehouses uh, where we you know, deploy uh, the sensors in the field uh, to help customers detect the refrigerant leakage at their facilities. And uh, we also have the, uh, the customers in the food and chemical space uh, where we uh, uh, you know, develop the, the, the sensors that can help analyze customers' food quality and you know, try to uh, do the quality assurance and control for them to replace you know, the, the, the human power and, and to also uh, increase the customer satisfaction for, for our, our uh, food and chemical company. Um, so Calix is, a, well, by name itself, is a, is a part of the floor uh, that, you know, that protects the, the bottom of the floor itself. So the reason why we name after this uh, Calix is that uh, the core value of the company is actually to protect our, uh, we want to use our technology to protect the society, protect the, the, the value, uh, valuable resources in the industry and, and for our customers. This is this is just like our baby, and then um, it's a it's a loan, and you know when, when you get it out, it's a loan and painful process. Uh, but you know once you launch it, it's like you feel so excited, and a lot of things are happening right now. Uh, we have this actually this is the first time we joined the exhibitions. We have our product launch. Um, the, the product is going is going to be online pretty soon, and then. Uh, you know, we have this rebranding stuff, and uh, the, our new website is actually online. And we will be, you know, adding more contents to that.